Around two years ago, I was given the opportunity to play Magic the Gathering. Now prior to this, I had played a small amount of Magic with friends, but this was the first time I actually sat down and learned the rules. And that says a lot, because I don't really like board games that much, and I also don't really like card games, but Magic was, it was, it was kind of fun. So I decided to make a few decks, and I played outside of my circle of friends, and well, that's something I wish I didn't do, because I took a trip to my local card game store and was immediately met with the smells of unshowered men. Now I can handle a little bit of body odor, it's not pleasant, but my poor nostrils can stomach it. What I can't handle is the smell of cheesy feet and teeth that haven't been brushed since 4th grade. Walking into that magic store was an eye-opener that made me believe all the crazy and gross tales that were told about Magic the Gathering and other communities. And well, I want to dig a little bit deeper. Today I want to discuss what I believe to be some of the smelliest, unhygienic communities when it comes to certain video games. Now before we jump into this, please do keep in mind this is just my opinion and I'm also generalizing. Obviously, there's a ton of nice smelling people out there, but today I want to take a look at the rougher of the bunch. So, let's get into it. The first one is a classic, and one that I actually wanted to buy a membership for as a kid. The legendary game known as World of Warcraft. I used to work at Walmart a long time ago in the electronics section, and my coworker, who had been there for much longer than me, would always recount a story about the release of the WoW DLC, Cataclysm. Basically, he was working the release night for it and was doing the pre-orders, and some of the most interesting people came out of the woodworks that night. He basically said that most of the people who showed up were largely overweight and didn't smell too nice. Now, I don't have anything against people who are big, but you gotta admit seeing that line would make you question the community this kind of game attracts. And it's not just me. South Park went and made a Make Love Not Warcraft episode which put that image on full display. But I can see how people lose track of themselves in games like these with their addictive nature and the need to continually stay progressed. The next community is what you consider to be a hidden gem of sorts as I doubt many people would ever bring this one up, but it is a notable one, at least for me. And that game is Guitar Hero. To me, Rock Band was the casual title that parents and children played, but for the teenagers and hardcore adults, Guitar Hero was on another level. This was because the game had a much more arcadey feel to it that demanded countless hours of playing and mastering various hand gestures to reach those high scores, but with the need to hit those high scores also came the need to make some sacrifices. And well, I met a lot of people who sacrificed their hygiene and social skills to play Guitar Hero instead. During the early mid 2000s, I was a young kid living in the suburbs of Canada, and I vividly remember my neighbor's son, who was about 16 at the time, being obsessed with Guitar Hero. He'd typically stay up until 4am on school weeknights, but it gets even better, because playing all the Guitar Hero would usually make him work up a sweat, so he'd usually strip down to his underwear or at least take off his shirt all while having his game on full blast for the neighborhood to hear. I could go on and on talking about other people I knew who were addicted to Guitar Hero and were definitely a bit different, but I thought this one story I just told was the funniest one out of the bunch. Although Guitar Hero isn't really a smelly community, it's definitely a community that attracts some edgy teens who are going through a phase. The next community is one that has been deemed the most toxic community on the internet, so it really only makes sense that it would also contain some of the freakiest individuals. The community I'm talking about is no other than League of Legends. Now, admittedly, I've never actually played a full game of League, but I've got to see some pretty depressing things online when it came to this game. I used to have a friend whose brother was grossly obsessed with League of Legends, and one time he actually let us watch him play. The only thing I could use to describe this guy's room was like if an atom bomb dropped. This dude really liked League, and well he didn't care much about other things, so much so that he had a spider web in his computer case and more holes in his wall from raging than a truck stop washroom. But it's not just my personal experiences that validates this opinion, because Gamers Captivity even published an article about professional League of Legends players having severe body odor issues, along with viewers in the crowd. And well, Quora and Reddit are also just filled with forums talking about this stuff, so it's fair to say that some League players are a bit too into the game. And now we are on to our final pick for the smelliest gaming community known to man, and that is... Super Smash Bros. So, I'm going with the two main games here of the series, which are Melee and Ultimate. The Super Smash Bros community is the only one I've ever heard that had to impose body hygiene into their tournament rules. If you show up smelling like death, you will be disqualified. The fact that they had to even impose this was so crazy to me, I didn't believe it at first. But after seeing a tweet posted in 2019 saying, A smasher actually shit their pants mid-set at the monthly last night, in utter disbelief, end quote, and then a follow-up reply from the player stating, he played through it, won the set, and then left after. 
It seems Smash Bros not only has toxicity within it, but also a nice layer of nasty smells. And before we wrap up this video, I just want to bring up two honorable mentions. So the first one was Counter-Strike players. Now I decided against this one as most players aren't really smelly, but rather just extremely toxic. So I didn't feel this one was eligible to make the list. And the other honorable mention was Rust. Now the reason Rust was close to making list is because the amount of time the game actually demands usually guarantees the people playing it aren't showering or eating. But then I eventually decided against picking it as most of the people who play the game are usually just toxic and yeah, well they have too much time on their hands. So anyways, that wraps up this video. Please let me know what games you think should have been mentioned and what experiences you've had within these various communities. Please subscribe if you haven't and I hope you have an awesome day.